100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for supporting me and subscribing and showing so much love. Honestly, I'm extremely happy that I've been able to impact so many people's lives in a positive way. I never thought I'd have a thousand subscribers or 100 subscribers. So having 100,000 subscribers is absolutely insane. This is just a huge milestone for me. And I know I've been able to do this without you guys. But let's continue to the video. And again, thank you so much for 100,000, 100,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Let's continue to the video. Yo, it's Dakota and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be showing you how I went from this to this. When I was in high school, I was never able to gain weight. I could eat legit 30 wings in one sitting and probably lose weight. When it was my senior year in high school, I knew I had to put on some weight before I got to college. Unfortunately, when I got to college, I was extremely underweight. I weighed in at 176 pounds at six foot six and a half. As time passed, I was able to completely changed my body and I gained over 40 pounds of muscle. Now I'm 220 pounds and I wanna show you exactly how I got to that point. For anyone that has tried to gain weight just by eating, I guarantee you that you've heard this. Oh, you have to just eat more. That's all you have to do is just eat. No, there's more to that. There's way more to that. It's about how many grams of protein and calories you consume. The food and drinks that have helped me gain healthy weight are peanut butter, almond milk, bread, honey, and water. Peanut butter is probably the number one source of protein that I eat. Two spoonfuls of peanut butter is eight grams of protein. It's really that simple. Peanut butter is actually really easy to consume on a regular basis when you add it to your protein shakes or sandwiches or even foods like apples or celery. The reason why I drink almond milk instead of like whole milk or 2% milk is because it's lactose intolerant and because it's a great plant-based drink instead of drinking the fats in regular milk. Did you know that regular milk has double the amount of calories than almond milk? Drinking a healthier milk that can still help you gain muscle and weight is way better than drinking a fat-filled beverage in regular milk. Bread is a great way to feel full quicker since it's so thick. Bread also has a lot of carbs. Carbs is the body's source of energy. Without carbs, you have no energy. Bread has a lot of protein as well. One slice one slice is 2.3 grams of protein. So imagine a peanut butter sandwich. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Honey is basically a healthier version of sugar. Try putting honey in your protein shakes instead of putting regular sugar. Trust me, you're not gonna be disappointed. Honey is an amazing source of antioxidants. Antioxidants help protect your body from cell damage, which can also help avoid diseases like cancer, or heart disease. Water is so important in gaining weight. When you're lifting weights or doing any sort of activity, most likely you're gonna sweat, which means you're gonna lose weight. However, drinking water brings back the water weight you lost from sweating. Our human bodies are made up of 60% of water, so your body literally needs water. I drink a gallon of water a day, sometimes more, but it's recommended to drink half of your body weight. So for example, if you're 160 pounds, you're supposed to drink 80 ounces of water because 160 divided by two is 80. When it came to weightlifting, I was doing it completely wrong. I would lift what I was comfortable with and then I would add a lot of cardio at the end. Yes, the cardio helped a lot when it came to basketball, but I was losing so much weight. So I had to change my routine completely. What I decided to do was turn my focus onto lifting instead of running so much. I found a balance with my conditioning, so where it still helps me with basketball, but I'm not losing so much weight. The amount of conditioning differs from everyone else, so find your balance when it comes to conditioning. When it came to lifting, I decided to add more weight and do less reps instead of doing less weight and adding more reps. And of course, drinking a protein shake is 100% recommended. Just a quick example, if you're easily lifting 20 pound dumbbells and you can easily do 10 reps, try pushing your limits and doing 30 and see if you get between six and eight reps. Gaining weight requires you to go out of your comfort zone and try aiming for a higher number.
If you're not willing to do this every day, then you're not going to gain any significant weight. It's a long process to gain weight, especially if you've never been able to gain weight before. The most important thing is just to stay consistent. When you don't feel like eating, eat. And when you don't feel like lifting, you have to push through somehow. You're going to get full from eating and you're going to get tired from lifting, but it'll all be worth it when you reach that goal. Trust me, if I can do it, you can too. Again, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. It's still so surreal to even think that I even reached that milestone. Just wow, like, I just remember when I first started this less than two years ago, and I never even thought I'd reach this point. It's just so amazing to see that I can help so many people in a positive way. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Follow all of my socials so you know when the next video comes out. And I'm out. Peace. Hundred K is nuts though.